What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Season 3 and second at Asteroid. Uh, we now have somebody trained to use the telescope. The telescope is indeed in and ready to go. So hopefully we'll start unlocking a few more asteroids in this episode very soon. Uh, carry out just to remind those that haven't already. Please remember to subscribe to see more. Uh, like if you like. It really does help me out a lot. I've nearly been going a year now. I'm not sure how good or bad I am as a uh, creator, but you know, I'm doing my best and hopefully the quality of the videos and audio is acceptable for you guys. In the meantime, we are looking to build. So this is now the line. You've seen I've marked it. So yes, that is the limit of where the sweeper can reach. So I am now going to mark that across the entire map. I am then going to tell them to dig out all of that. I am not going any deeper than that. Yes, there is resources down there, but we've got other places to go and more in... At this time, this is just resource for the sake of resources. I want actual specifics. So I may, depending on when we've done this, have a look and say, oh, there's quite a lot of there, look, where it's still green in the center. If that is a lot of uranium, I may stay and just collect the uranium. But here on the right, where it's all ice underneath and it's just water or polluted water in terms of ice, that I don't care about. We don't need any more ice. We don't need any more water. We need all of the ethanol from this asteroid because for cooling that would be brilliant in the future and we need as much of the uranium as possible the rest of it meh so getting it ready leaving them be i'm going to delete what i can delete in terms of construction that i don't want everything else will be set to delete and then i'll leave them alone um, to see what they can achieve with that i am going to send over a rocket or two of rovers just to give them a helping hand if they can help at all. If they can't do the digging, which, spoiler, they can't, because the digging you can see here, most of it is too difficult for rovers, then they can maybe do the other stuff, like life support and stuff, so that the duplicates can do the digging. And if you notice, I'm just quickly going around now, deleting, sorry, cancelling the digging from underneath any of the hives, because it said that that would stop them working. So you can see there. And then any of the geysers or what the other one called? Geyser or volcanoes or whatever they are. Any of them that I've seen, I've also told them not to dig them up because I really don't want whatever it is. I don't know what it is yet, but I don't want it to be let loose when I'm not paying attention. So for now, I'll keep those clean as well. And we'll dig those when we've actually uncovered it and I've got enough people about that I can quickly just shove a insulated cap on it to basically cap it off and block it. And then if it's a decent volcano or geyser, I'll transfer it home and use it. If not, we'll leave it where it is. More plumbing. So I'm actually putting some toilets in the surface base because it makes sense. I'm actually gonna put a lot more uh, when I get a chance, but for now, just a few. Because the guys that are up here working on the rockets or loading the rockets that then need to go to the toilet, there's no way they're going to be able to get into the tube down to a toilet and back in the time that is set for them to use it. So I'm going to build toilets on the actual surface. Reasonably simple. We already have the setup for that. You can see here now we have the pipes going in for the three rocket platforms, one per. And of course, each one of them will have a... I can't remember what the valve's called now, but the counter valve anyway, so that we can tell it to send 450 litres, kilos of liquid, because we know that is exactly what the small rockets require. The other ones, we'll have to work that out, but yeah, for now, 450 is, is what's required for the small petroleum rocket, so that's what we will send. We're going to do the same with the gas as well, and right here we, of course, are going to build three liquid lines for liquid fuels, three gas lines for gas fuels, all of which will be connected to those special valves for counting this exact amount of liquid or gas we require. And then that will be set for the future, right? Um, the water pipe there is going to go over to each of the three as well. But we only need one for that because it's just going to break off. We'll also need an oxygen line as well for the rockets. So three fuel lines, gas and liquid. through uh, One water line and one oxygen line. And that 
should be a set for the game, to be honest. Three platforms should be more than enough for our home base. Whatever we're building on the platforms will be launched. We can reuse the same platforms while stuff is in orbit or traveling, etc. I don't imagine that I'm going to need more than the three. So for now, just for the ease of it, we have this set up anyway where the natural gas is coming directly out of this chamber that has the two natural gas geysers in it. So I'm going to rob that, send it straight to the fueling system that is for the rockets, or rocket as it currently is, because we only have one natural gas rocket. Not sure how much it needs versus how much is in there. We'll see and test it. If I need more, I can plumb in over the far right hand side of the base, uh, the map even. We have a couple of, if not three, gas canisters full uh, of natural gas, so I'm not worried. We've got plenty. For now, though, this was just a much shorter trek to put in. As is with the liquid, it's going up into that segment above the insulated tile, and then the one pipe, gas pipe or liquid pipe, breaks into three, each one with its own measured shutoff valve. And each one of those pipes will go to the one of the three actual docking stations. Also, you can see there now the checkered black and yellow patterning on that. Uh, the collectors for the rad bolts working nicely. Seven collectors around one reflector, which then goes into the machine. I would imagine they fire 50, so technically I only need four. Now, unfortunately, when you turn them off, they do reset so it's a case of it's it's not efficient put it that way um but again the storage that i mentioned would be a wonderful idea i have seen one but i don't think it's that but i might be wrong i've never tried before so i will look into it but if you know something please do mention it in the comments and i will rush for that just setting up now all the gas pipes remember these are going up the rocket i'm pretty sure if i use the connectors that go to the bottom of the of the platforms, it will do this automatically, but I am going to look into that very shortly. In the meantime, I know this works, so that is what I'm going with. And we'll see how we can go from there. You can see the transport tubes are being used. People are running backwards and forwards like crazy as well down below there to get these pipes and items delivered. All of the pipes I'm using are ceramic, both for gas and for liquid. Uh, there is a lot of heat coming out of the rocket, especially in that launch area. This way, I'm hoping that it means that, of course, we will never have an issue with the temperature actually bothering any of the liquids or the gases. I'm more bothered about the liquids and the gases because the gases can get as hot as they like, but they won't really turn into any other gases. Uh, you can get sour gas from one, but yeah, you, you're not going to get them changing state because gas is the last state, whereas liquids can go to gas and break the pipes. So, And especially with me having a water pipe going up there, and then you're talking many hundreds of degrees, up to 600 700 degrees exhausts that will easily insta vaporize liquid water a bit further forward the one on the left by the way you can see has got four rover ports on it now i will have to remove one of them i think because i'm missing an oxidizer so it's liable to only get three that is specifically going to asteroid number two just to give the duplicates as i said a bit of a boost we are down from five to four now because of that one having to fly back due to him getting stuck outside the base for the fourth time uh, and very injured so I sent him back so this one is going to go over there drop off sort of three of the rovers come back I'll probably restock it send it back no the another three so there'll be six rovers over there while the duplicates spend their time digging hopefully the rovers can keep the base storage uh, any life any life what do you call it life support there we go uh, just just keeping the other stuff intact so because I know for a fact they won't be able to dig 90% of what needs to be dug up so they're a bit useless in that regard but they're good at doing other things and building ladders where they can they can do that the second rocket which is the first rocket to have the first rocket that we built with the gas engine just jiggery pokering it about a bit now one tip that I've always done wrong actually I think unless anybody disagrees the capsule where you put all the people in so the one that i use there for making up to 10 people but i usually use it for one 
if I put that, the lower you put that on the rocket, the better, right? Because when you land somewhere to get out, you have to build a ladder to get out of that capsule and down to the ground. So I always do it at the very top under the nose cone, and then you have to build a ridiculously long ladder to get to them. Well, if you put it right above the engine, you only have to build a short ladder. Uh, argue in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. But I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Unless your capsule is also the nose cone, where it has to be at the top. Uh, but then fairer mod modules that are actually for uh, spending a long time is their idea. That could be right at the bottom. Use it as a command center. And then you just have to build, like, what, six ladders up? Maybe? Maybe maybe five? And they can escape. And that way, it's a lot quicker, a lot less resources, and a lot more productive. IMO. So on this bit on the side that I left uncovered, there is actually a huge... I thought it was going to be a laboratory, which the fact that the map's called The Lab would make sense. It's it's not, though, apparently. It's some sort of reception. Trying to move this and steal it because it would look nice in my base. Unfortunately, though, because it is on the wonk when you pick it up, even though it looks good like that, as soon as I put it down, it will also put it on the wonk. And by wonk, that means the wrong way up. It almost fits in there. Look, Actually, it would have done, but I'm not going to build a building for it. So, yeah, it puts it on the wonk. So, never mind, sod it. I will just deconstruct that. Here we can go. You see more slime uh, comets, meteors land in there. And immediately the ones that break up, it's being collected and sent for storage, which is good. So I'm going to get in here, build a couple of ladders, rip this all out. There are some data banks that you can get from this stuff. However, it seems to be bugged. Another one. Uh, it says I've already done it. And, well, I haven't because I've not been here before. So that's weird. Unless it's part of the map. But, yeah. Already done, apparently. Again, don't worry because... The whole premise of this is that we know that we can go into orbit and get the data banks formed from there with a bit of plastic and power. So that is what we'll do, and that is how we will complete all of the research. I'm just using what I can for chain deconstruction to delete as much of it as possible, and then we'll come back with some ladders and clear out the rest. But deconstructing stuff, it's not going to give us any resources that are valuable to us, or we have everything now anyway, and that's just made out of normal sedimentary rock so probably won't show that but i'm just gonna put a couple of scaffolding ladders in there and do it from there that was the ice island you just saw there very briefly i might add uh, i'm just gonna quickly because these things are waiting in orbit and there are people in them i need to quickly just drop the rover four five and six for the second asteroid and then we'll jump over to ujima flop yep to the ice island and I'm going to start naming the rockets moving forward as well to try and give us some snaps. It's Mars 5, as it's called, which is currently orbiting. You can see I've just dropped the orbital cargo module. So that's all of them refined metals have now landed on the ice asteroid. We then have the trailblazer that allows us to join them, which we will also do. So you select two. There's only one person. And then you just say where you want to land. There looks like a nice spot. We can deconstruct that and chuck in a rocket platform. Now, landing a rocket on an asteroid of ice is going to get very damp. Uh, some would even say moist. For those of you that don't like that word, apologize. But yeah, it's just how to put it. Now, you look, you click on these capsules. It just shows vacuum. They don't exist, apparently. They're not there. Now, I know you can click on them and open them manually. The same as you can get the automated machine, but we're not anywhere near that. So, I don't know why it does this. Now, if we can't open these, we can't get the refined metals, we can't build the rocket platform, and we can't land the rocket, this person will die. This is bad. There is nothing I can physically use to build... We can deconstruct this, which will give us, I believe, 400. Yes, but we need 800. So we're still 400 short. What to do? Well, the answer's obvious. I mentioned it earlier, if not in this episode, the one before. Just reload. Uh, it should work. It does work, so reload. And reloading allows you to open the capsules... Uh, and build the platform. Now we've done that with some ladders which we built while I was waiting for that. You can see our oxygen is out and our health is very low. The rocket has landed though and it's ripping apart the ice below it. 
but that's fine. Now we need to get her to immediately run into the capsule. As soon as they are in the capsule, wrong capsule. As soon as they're in the capsule, they can, well, take the helmet off and breathe, but more importantly, take off their atmosphere suit altogether. So come on, May, run for your life, literally. There we go. Look how close that was, though, people. And there we go. Take off the suit, and you now have bed, comfort, and everything you need to survive. We can do a little bit more on this asteroid, that she can hold her breath and leave the uh, space capsule. But for now, we'll let her just chill. The only task I really want her to do before she leaves is actually put a platform under the rocket platform so it's not going to end up melting and floating in space and then be unoperational in the future. You can see those icons on the little rocket shell things where you can see they can be unlocked, but we're no rush on that. That's it. You can see she'll open one. There we go. So they can be done. I just don't know why you have to reload for it to actually work, or at least in this playthrough anyway. So now all we need to do is change to home. She can get back in, fly home. Plenty of fuel, uh, oxidizer and fuel to get home anyway, so not a problem there. And we now have a landing platform to try and do something useful. So we need to now come back. Well, actually, the first thing we need to do is establish what resources we need to build exactly what we need on here. Then program that into the interplanetary transport dongle then send them when they've arrived we can then launch another rocket out here to come and do all that building get them set up open the satellite telescope there we go telescope and and um, see what we can uncover the only downside I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to do the concealed one in this setup because we need oxygen and that sounds really complex we could steal it from the rocket, I suppose, but I think it would be better just to do the smaller, easier telescopes that require nothing other than just a few resources and to build them. Then get on them, uncover the land, next, 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 and just keep bunny hopping across asteroids like that. Anyway, with all these rockets up and down and lots of things happening, we are preparing the next one already for our next trip, and we'll look at uncovering more ground in a future episode. We are at time now, though, or over time, so thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like, any comments are welcome. As always, subscribe to stay up to date. Take care. Goodbye.